Hello fellow model makers and welcome to the second part of our Tamiya 148 scale F16 CJ Block 50 build. Right, I glued all the main fuselage parts together last time and now I can start gluing in all the smaller parts. And there are quite a few of them, starting with these parts on the nose. Time to start working on the exhaust. I first paint the inside of the exhaust with flat white. The fan is given a coat of aluminium. And then tinted over with some burnt metal. The nozzle is painted with AK Interactive's aluminium. as is this ring on the adjacent piece. Now to add some burnt metal. The ring is given a much deeper hue, as I observed in most pictures that this part was at times a really dark burnt metal color. A little tint of burnt metal is also added to the nozzle. Time to add some transparent blue to the nozzle. The ring is once again given a much deeper hue to make it darker. The gaps between the primary and secondary nozzle flaps were hand painted with black. I would like to point out here that the more I looked at pictures on the net, the more I realized that the exhaust nozzle on these aircraft weathered in a variety of ways and colors. In the end, I picked the colors that I like the most. But you can always do a little research and go with the look that you like. The trailing edge of the ring is also hand painted black. The pieces were then given a coat of clear varnish. Once that was dry, I darkened the pieces up with some Tamiya panel line wash.
The extra wash was removed using a Q-tip dipped in odorless spirit. I next weathered the inside of the exhaust using some oil paints. The exhaust sub-assembly was then glued together. Time to get back with the assembly of the kit. Starting with screwing in place these vertical rods which will guide and hold the tail in place. The idea I believe is to allow modelers to paint these sub-assemblies independently and then simply slide them in place using these rods. A sort of modular approach. I also start gluing the wings in place. The wheels and other undercarriage parts are now finished. All the parts are cut, cleaned and painted with the same white as the wheel well. The wheels are painted rubber black. To paint the white hub, I tried using this stencil, which was only partially successful. In the end, I had to go and clean up by hand painting.
I now cut, clean and glue together the air intake assembly, which also houses the front wheel well. The inside of the air intake and the wheel well are now painted white. Unlike the other parts of the air intake, the lip is black, so I paint this separately and will simply glue it in place. I had earlier given the landing gear assembly a coat of gloss varnish and now dirty it up with some Tamiya panel line wash. The extra wash is cleaned away using a Q-tip dipped in spirit.
Unlike most kits, where one can paint and weather the aircraft before attaching the landing gear, the F-16 requires the landing gear to be glued in place before you can proceed further. This will surely make masking this kit a ton of fun. The air intake is now glued in place. I now cut, clean and glue together all the remaining major assemblies. Now, as I had said earlier, parts of the tail assembly need not be glued in place on this kit and can simply be slided into place using the metal rods and the poly caps. However, I was a little worried about leaving a gap between the tail and the fuselage later. So I simply glued everything in place. Right then fellow model makers, this aircraft is now shaping up nicely and is almost ready to be painted. This kit is a joy to put together. But that's all we have time for on this edition. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with the next part of the build. Till then, good luck and keep modeling.